Hi, this is Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions, and um, we're going to take a look at adding simple solids in AutoCAD Architecture 2013 to existing walls. And what I'm going to do is simply add in a simple brick wall, and I'm going to create a shape that's going to represent the solid. So I'm going to start with the normal rectangle command, like so. I'll just add it into there, and I'm just going to move that along. I'm going to navigate out to my 3D view, so you can see my wall, there it's in a realistic view. And I'm just going to simply copy that rectangle up, put my ortho on. And set at the bottom we have a bit of a curve, so I'm going to edit this vertex here, I'm going to click on the grip. And if I use hit my control key twice, you'll see it'll span it out into an arc here. So I have the shape that I want to make my loft. I'm just going to use my normal uh, 3D commands in AutoCAD. I'm going to type in the word loft, L-O-F-T. Um, select my two profiles for my loft. You just need to hit enter twice to actually accept it. Um, if you're not happy about the conditions of the loft, you can change it after um, very, very easily just by actually clicking up and pull down. But this is going to be straightforward because we've only really two profiles here. So the problem with this from an architectural perspective is it doesn't, isn't actually assigned to the actual material of the wall. So how do we add this in? Well, very simply, we select the wall and again on the ribbon along the top, we'll see um, body modifiers. I can simply add in my body modifier. It'll ask to pick up my 3D solid. Now this can also be a mass element, which is an AutoCAD architecture and AutoCAD MEP feature. But in this case, it's just a simple AutoCAD solid. It'll then ask for what component we want to apply it to. Well, we simply only have brick in this case, so I'm going to select brick. Um, this is important, um, whether it's additive and allows cut openings. Well, I want this to be allowed the cut openings to happen, so it means I could put in a door or a window, etc. in here. And with other options, whether it's additive or subtractive, so we might have a body modifier that might take away from the wall. Replace, we'd simply replace the whole wall itself. So I'm going to say additive cut openings, and I'm going to say erase the existing objects or geometry in there, and simply hit OK. So as you'll see in here, I'll get my wall geometry coming in. I've got my curve the way I want, want it. But more to the point, if I go to my plan view, I'll get my plan representation exactly how I want it. It also means if I select the wall, right click, and add it an opening very quickly, you'll see that my openings, the um, rules will actually apply through the body modifier. So if we select this, and orbit. Again, you'll see the rules will physically apply in there. So that's very easily how you can actually get an AutoCAD solid and apply it to an AutoCAD architecture object. Thanks for listening.